Today I'm going to show you an advanced black market script created by Evo Development. It supports both QB and ESX and takes immersion and realism to the next level. There are custom animations for dealing with NPCs, knocking on van doors, and inspecting items. The van itself is custom and built for the black market experience. You can choose from three custom MLOs and hidden areas where players request a van and complete secret missions to grow their reputation and become trusted. I'll also mention it's very customizable and easy to set up, so you can make changes and adjust it to fit your server. There'll be a link to the resource and creator's preview in the description. I hope you enjoy the video. The link in the description takes you to the resource where you can see the features, watch the preview, and purchase. If you want to purchase, go to your key master and granted assets, then find Evo Advanced Black Market and download it. Once it's done, open it up and open your server resources and add it in. Then go to your server config and ensure it. I'm just going to put it down here. Next, use the link in the description for the documentation. You can see the features and view some images. I'm going to go down to the installation section. Be sure you have all the dependencies. The only one you need to add is PS Zone. So I'll right click and open in a new tab. Then click the green code and download zip. Once it's done, open it up and open your resources again. Because it's a dependency for the black market, it must start before it. I'm going to put it in the standalone folder so it starts before the black market but after polyzone. And of course, remove the main from the end. If you're missing other dependencies, be sure to install and ensure them properly. Next, you need to run the provided SQL code. If you don't know how to do this, there's a link in the description to a video made by Anna that shows multiple methods. The next thing to do is add the item. Choose the section for your server. I'm using QB inventory, so I'll choose that and copy it then go back to the resources and into the QB folder find QB core then go into the shared folder and open the item section then once you're in there just paste what you copied then go back to the resource folder into the images folder and copy the image you need to add it to your inventory. Again, I'm using QB inventory, so I'll be going there. Into HTML, into images, and then pasting. The last thing to do is go over the config. So go back to the resource folder, find the config, and open it up. The first option is for your framework. I'm going to change it to QB core. Next is the inventory. I'm using QB, so I'll leave it as is. If you're using one from the commented out text, be sure to change it. Then there's the locations for the black market van. You can add more following the format. Then you have the van model and the ped model that sits inside of the van. If you want to change the ped, go to the site, find one you like, and simply replace the name with this one here. Then there's the max reputations players can have, followed by the black market categories. There's drugs, weapons, car upgrades, and luxury. On the outside, you have the category name and the label and icon for it. Then you have the items that can be purchased in that category. For the items, you have the item name and the label, the price and the limit, which is how much players can buy per restart, the minimum reputation players need to be able to buy, the prop, how much reputation is added, how rare the item is, the weight, the legality, and the effectiveness. Below the categories are tiers and the minimum amount of reputation players need to be able to access the categories. Then there are options for the deliveries. Each one has commented out text that explains what it's for, so go through and change to fit your server. Then you have the pickup locations, the ped models for the suppliers, and the delivery locations. The last section is for the NPCs where players can start missions or request the bans. You have their names, the text that displays, their jobs, and the ped models. There's also cords to the custom MLOs, and there's commented out text that separates them. 
If you made changes, be sure to save them, then start your server and test it out. So I'm at one of the NPC locations. When you interact, you see the dealer's name and the message they say. Then you have the option to request a van, get a mission, or leave the menu. So go ahead and get a mission. And once you do that, there's a notification that tells you what to do. And on the map, there's a waypoint set. So I'll go there and get the package. Holy shit. Once you have the package, there's another notification and waypoint for it to be delivered. Once you get to the delivery location, there's another notification and you wait for the vehicle to come so you can deliver it. There he is there, so go ahead and get the package from the trunk. When you request a van, there's a notification, and on the map it lets the player know the location of the van, which is the red blip. So go ahead and access the black market. Once you access it, you can see the categories you have the reputation for. Your reputation is also displayed in the top right. So I go to weapons. On each item, there is the reputation and the price. And when you choose the item, the prop shows up with the name. And there's more information displayed on the right. So I'll go ahead and add it to the cart. Then go back and purchase it. Let you know it was purchased. And I have the rifle ammo here. Lastly, I'll show you how to add more items to the shop. So go back to the resource folder. And open the config. Then choose the category that matches the item you want to add. For the example, I'm adding Coke, so I'll put it under the drugs category. I'll copy the meth that's already here. Then paste it below and start renaming the information. The item name is Coke Baggy. And for the label, I'll just do Bag of Coke. You can go through and change the price and statistics for it. I'm going to make it 50. And the next thing I'll focus on is the prop. For this, I'm using Pleb Masters. There's a link for it in the description. So I'll go there, and once you're there, you can search for the prop that matches the item. So I'm just going to search for Coke. And once you search, you can choose which one you like the best. So I'll choose this brick here. And then copy the name. Once you have it copied, go back to the config and paste it here under the object section next to name. Now for the rotation and core, it's going to be in your server. So I'll go in, then use the command slash dev market space and then the prop name and the van will appear. Then you have the controls on the right so you can move the object. So I'll use the arrow keys to move it over here and then scroll while holding shift to change the height. Once you have it where you want it, hit E to place the object and the information is copied to your clipboard. Once it's copied, go back to the config, highlight the rotation and chord section, and then paste what you just copied. Next, go back to the resource folder, into the UI folder, and then into the items folder. You need to make sure what you added has a corresponding image in here. The default Coke baggie is here, but I'm going to change the name so it shows up in the UI. So I'll make it match the item I just added. Coke baggie. Once you've done that, restart your server and test it out. I'm back at the van now, so I'll go ahead and open the shop. Then I'll go to the drugs category, and there's the bag of Coke I added. So I'll go ahead and purchase it. And there it is there. 
That'll be all for this video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and a sub. If you have suggestions, feel free to comment down below or join my Discord. The link will be in the description. Thank you for watching.